So we are going to get started. And is there anybody here from Rennell Harper's family? Anybody in the room? No, if you are, could you come to the front? Oh, here we are. Did you want to, would you join us down here? Yeah. Thank you. And uh, just so everybody knows, this is a great, great turnout today. And so we are, looks like, at capacity. And we do have another room set up here at the university because we are uh, broadcasting live or webcasting live, I should say. And so Eckert Gramate Hall, which is the sort of main um, building here at the university on the third floor. So you just go straight up the escalators. There's a room set up there. And so it's, it's being... Uh, projected onto the screen and there's seating there and, and audio and that sort of thing. So if you can't find a seat here and you um, don't want to stand, you can join us at uh, Eckhart Gramate Hall. Okay, so my name is uh, Diane Rusin, and I'm your MC for today. So I'm just here to try and keep us on track so we don't have to be here till 8 o'clock tonight, but we might. We'll see how it goes. Um, we're going to start our afternoon uh, with a opening prayer. And we have Anna and Jason Pronto, who are husband and wife, and um, you know, our, our, our spiritual leaders in our community and are both two times um, a day, and they act as the Oshke Abewis <laughs> uh, in the Medicine Lodge of the Anishinaabe people. And so they are raising their sons in the traditional way, and uh, they co-deliver the uh, Wachawakanak Learning Center's Let's Speak Ojibwe to Our Kids program that's here at the University of Winnipeg on campus. And um, Anna won the inaugural uh, Dr. Tabsanakit Kwanu Anishinaabe Moen Language Speech Contest at the 2014 University of Winnipeg Aboriginal Student Council powwow for giving the best speech in the Ojibwe language. So I'd like to uh, invite Anna and Jason to come forward and get us started. Bonjour and day morning and dog. Bijou kin stijgen de kaas, maar je kan de dam en alleen daar niet je met de. Oh, zeg maar, give me the go. Me on jij nog gom, maar jinda de nam ja. Hij zegt me kun je maar kinder aan iedere nationaal bek gaan aan kenzi aan de aard. Ga je dus zo door morgen dag. Hij zegt ja, bij de maat zo aard. We wijn de zo en de morgen weer nu. Hij zegt wat jij moet schoon met zijn aan. Ja, ik zeg maar door wie je staat mij nu aan nog gom. Hij zegt ik go. Hij ook weer maat staat aan nog gom. Hij zegt Eje kina magi ani ne eje magi a ke kina ani shna be kwe wog we wene sa eje no gum ke get gim shom esnan we wene de guajum de we do ko shna mino a no gum eje ke get owe owe ne ne gewin de goshin eje gewin me a owe do egan ke get gewin de nagmod eje gewin de guajum na man do de jo ene mod de jo ene agi a be ani shna be ka e kina we ani jib magi eje guajum ke gin wa eje ma bi de goshin we do da da as a as a get you know keep in as a nigan nabada you know on don't come okay you need to go uh the nishnabi nishnabi moyan as a guy in guy win wa oh oh okay okay we know agenda the the nishnabi mo uh push you in the way margani duck uh kish gabi now we be tongue dish nikaz you should do them and he's on him a day Miguetchen and Dandaman, Gigi Guajame Goyan, Gigi Guajan, Nungum, Nuika Gue, Nishnaben, Bungi, Nimequanama, Namama Esiban, Miskoana Quat, Eban, Hijina Kazo, Ninga Guajama, Gijamani do, Dejoana Mud, Uni Jonas, Uni Jonas, Sug. Gaya, kekena nishna ben. Minawa, 
the go the go the the Joanna Mud Anishina Bay Quen. Minawa Guinea Johnston Guinea Johnston and Anik uh the mi the Mino Bimadisi Wad the Bim Bim Bimu Du Yang Anishina Bay Bimadiswin um Nundana Nun um Nundam Shinam Eje um Eje Nun um Miominik Eje Gagigidoyan Nui uh Shaganashin uh Bangi Etigo um just for um the ones who, who can't understand yet um what we just said we talked about um just asking for the creator to look this way and to think to think about us here and to think about the families to think about um all of the the women that we um that we miss um and we i think about um for me personally i think about my uh, my auntie namama Saban, miss galana kwetaban her name was red cloud um going to kenazine uh uh, missing. She's missing, hey? Um, and I think about her and her children, and, and I think that um, that's representative of our community, and we have a lot of women who are missing, and, um, and we love them, and we think about them. Uh, we think about their families who, who miss them as well. Miigwech. Um, I don't know if Jason wants to say anything in English. <laughs> she lets me talk. <laughs> you get uh, just in this way, uh, it is a difficult time that we're in, and uh, the, the things that we deal with with our families that are, are closely related to all of us. And understanding who we are in our teachings of the Anishinaabe, uh, the loss of our relatives, or the loss of all of us, all of our aunties, all of our sisters, all of our nieces and grandmothers. So in that way today, in the words that we share, we ask the Spirit, uh, the one only we know as the Creator, that there is only one, and we ask with our way that we're given as Anishinaabe, with our tobacco, to, to look this way, to look at us as we wish to, to stand here today, as we stand uh, with our families. And as men, uh, we have some men here, uh, going to offer that song for in honor of the women. How we remind us that as men, we need to respect our women and, and stand up and stand with them uh, in that way. So the first song, our relative is going to offer that, and the second one is always uh, a tough one, but remembering our, our ones who, who have gone on uh, in that way. Because even in the, in the spirit, saying that uh, we, should not, we shall not be forgotten. And so today, we ask the spirit to look at us as we have not forgotten our relatives, and uh, we will not forget them. So in this way, with our, our tobacco and our prayers, we stand with the families in need and uh, all of us as we look to, to the future, as we try to come to an understanding in all the things that might be going on. But we, we ask the Spirit to guide us in that way and looking for, for an answer and thinking about how we can do things uh, for our children, uh, with our children in the future. So in that way, we, we think about that and, in, uh, and how we always end our, our prayers is as a collective in our language, and uh, we say like, we say like this uh, four times that we ask the spirit to to look at us and inclusive to all of our relatives. We always we always conclude like this. So in that way, we we extend our, our prayers and thoughts today to all of our relatives uh, wherever they may be. Hey, Buju and Dinaway Magani Toko Banakut Nigo, Miguachka Bizindaik, Miguachka Bijaik, Minoa. Hi, my name is uh, Wap Kanu. I want to thank everyone uh, for joining us here today. And we are going to begin by acknowledging the families of uh, our stolen sisters here who are with us today. And we would also like to invite you uh, to come up at the front. And uh, Jason and Anna 
we'll be uh, lighting a smudge if you want to do so. So you're free to uh, participate in that. And then uh, my brother uh, Freeman here, my dotem, will uh, open uh, the song, open with the song. So we would like to acknowledge uh, Sharice Houle's family, Jennifer Baptiste and uh, her mother, Barb Houle, are with us here today. We'd also like to acknowledge Jennifer McPherson, uh, her sisters, Jerry Pangman and uh, Kim McPherson, are here with us today. We'd like to acknowledge Jennifer Catchaway. Her brother, uh, Willie Starr, is here with us today. We would like to acknowledge uh, Myrtle Roy, a missing woman. Her family is here with us today. We would also like to acknowledge another uh, missing woman, Nancy Dumas, whose uh, friends are here with us today. We would like to acknowledge Roberta McIver. Her family is here with us today, including uh, Alea McIver. We would also like to acknowledge uh, Divas Belanger, and uh, many of Divas' uh, friends are here with us today. We would like to acknowledge Sandy Lynn Malcolm and her family, uh, including Deneen Flett, are here with us today. We would also like to acknowledge Tanya Marsden, whose family is with us here today, including uh, Kavina Anderson and uh, Elizabeth Ross. We would also like to acknowledge Tanya Nipanak and her aunt, I believe, is here today, uh, Sue Caribou. And we would also like to acknowledge uh, Carol Caribou. And now some family members also asked us to acknowledge uh, murdered men. And so we would like to uh, respect their wishes. And so we want to acknowledge uh, Joe Bolio, the late Joe Bolio. Uh, Lazar Bigity, as well as George Bigity. And finally, we would also very much like to acknowledge a uh, young sister who is here with us today, uh, is not stolen, but is here with us. Uh, Renelle Harper and her family are here with us today, so we very much want to acknowledge their presence and say miigwech kapijayik. So family members, if you want to come up, uh, we're going to do the uh, opening song, the woman's song, and then the, uh, the honor song. So at this time, I'm going to invite uh, my dotem, my clan brother, uh, Freeman White, who comes from a long line of uh, famous powwow singers. If you grew up in uh, First Nations home in the 1980s and 90s, you probably had a Whitefish Bay Singers tape kicking around. So this is uh, one of their nephews, one of their sons, one of their grandsons. And he's also a student at the University of uh, Manitoba. So I'd like to invite uh, Freeman White to come and uh, give us the opening song.
Thank you, Miigwech. So, uh, as I said earlier, my name is Diane Rusin, and um, I uh, am participating in today's event uh, as the chair of the Indigenous Advisory Circle that we have here at the University of Winnipeg. And um, we are very, very honored and very proud to, to present uh, this, this event to the community today um, that we've called Inquiring Minds um, because there's a lot to, uh, to talk about. So um, welcome to the University of Winnipeg and uh, we always of course like to acknowledge that we are on the Treaty 1 territory and that we are in the heart of the Métis Nation. Uh, these lands are very uh, important uh, to the history of, of the Métis Nation as well as the the uh, nations that were here even pre-treaty. So, uh, so welcome. And uh, to say a little bit about the Indigenous Advisory Circle, um, I, I guess I would characterize it as being a group of community leaders that are from the First Nations and Métis communities. And um, there's also members from across Canada and there's some uh, members who also are from our uh, cousins to the south in the, in the US and so, all very passionate about education and in particular um, looking at how it is that indigenous people, indigenous perspectives, indigenous uh, knowledges can inform the academy and, and help shape uh, the education of, of the University of Winnipeg and, and of course for this uh, city and this province. Um, and so I know that we had had a meeting, a couple of meetings that we were talking about this issue and, and most of you in the room will know this issue has been around for a very, very long time. Um, but it's uh, most recently seems to have sparked the imagination of uh, folks across the country, uh, folks across the, uh, the globe even. And so we're, we're very, um, I guess honored to take advantage of that opportunity and to take responsibility for uh, just bringing more dialogue and more awareness to this issue because there's a lot um, there's a lot that goes into this issue and there's a lot of things to talk about and a lot of things to figure out and so uh, as a university it's important that um, as a if I can call it a mainstream institution um, it's important that our institutions also stand up and and say that this is an important issue and that they take a stand as well. Um, I know many of you in the room, um, as, a, as an individual, have been on the forefront of this issue, and, um, and it's great that we're doing that as individuals, but as collectives and as institutions, we also need to stand up and, and walk the walk and, uh, and join, in, join in with the voices. So um, it's, it's just one small way for the university to bring the issue forward and to have this dialogue about how it is that we can help keep our, our, cities, our cities, our provinces, our country safe for our women and our, and our children and our girls. And 